Hey there, everybody. I thought I'd do come on here and do a part two to my um, Ghost Adventures Aftershocks review. Um, I did a video yesterday, and it was uh, talking about one of the episodes that I had seen, and where they were trying to tell one of the um, people that they were uh, talking to was um, that she should not go into a place this particular place because there was a spirit in there that was evil um, although they say that there's that sometimes these de these uh, spirits do mimic the dead and sometimes they are demons but yet they he would Zach would not acknowledge the fact that they are that that's always the case um, you see a lot of people in the paranormal they they know that these demons do mimic the dead um, but the the problem is they refuse to believe that that is always the case um you know then of course they're not going by what the bible says there's a lot of people you know in the paranormal they don't believe in the bible but it doesn't change the facts <laughs> um you know just because i refuse to believe that a car is blue you know doesn't mean that car's not blue <laughs> you know um but what I wanted to do was go over how it is that these paranormal groups um, determine if a spirit is a demon mimicking the dead. How do they know if a spirit is a demon? How do they, uh, what is their acid test? Um, when I was in the paranormal, I was into it for a long time. Um, I went on investigations with many other groups. Um, I used to go to the conferences and speak at these conferences and we used to engage in conversation with a lot of other groups we used to go to meetup groups with other teams and stuff we used to have blog star shows and we used to have um, you know discuss reviews of evidence and um, you know the new equipment that was coming out and all this stuff so I got a feel for you know how these other teams would handle these cases and the thing that I find interesting now is the fact that they only would go by what these demons or these spirits would tell them. Um, if they heard that a spirit would do things in repetitions of three, like say for instance would knock, knock on the wall three times or scratch someone on the back with three scratches, um, you know, just anything like that, they would automatically, oh, it must be a demon. Uh, you know, if the spirit was, you know, um, in attacking people, that was also a thing that they were, oh, okay, it's probably a demon. But there was no real acid test. You know, how do you know if these spirits are mimicking the dead? How do you know if it's not a demon mimicking the dead? Um, I do know that there are some investigators that claim to be believers and they have their acid test and it's John uh, it's it's in the Bible it's John I can't remember the verse right now but but anyway it's got to do with testing the spirits but it's talking about um, where it says something about if a spirit does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh um, you know that spirit is not of God I'm paraphrasing it but that's pretty much what the acid test is to some investigators okay but nine times out of ten they don't get any answer you know and if they do get an answer it doesn't matter if the spirit does say that Jesus did come in the flesh because demons acknowledge this they acknowledge this fact they don't confess it as in being a believer like we are like believers are they just say it just like these false religions do a lot of them you know say Jesus Christ came in the flesh but then they have their heresies that they believe also. So, you know, these demons can say something like that. So, what I want to know, like I said, is what is their acid test? How do they know? When you have a client that's getting attacked, this is serious stuff. You know, how are you going to protect these clients? Are you going to give them false information? A, a false sense of peace? When there is no peace are you telling them okay it's okay it's just the spirit of a dead child that's in your house it's not going to harm you you know 
are, are you going to be responsible when you walk away and you give that person a, uh, the idea that everything's okay when really it's not, you know, that's serious. You know, um, I just think that people need to, you know, if something's going on in someone's house and the person calls you, you need to get a hold of a minister. If there's paranormal activity going on in someone's house, there is demonic activity going on in their house because that's what these spirits are. They're mimicking the dead. You know, most paranormal groups believe that there is a such thing as mimicking, you know, like I talked about yesterday in my other, in part one, but they refuse to believe that it's always a case. But you see, the reason why that they, that they refuse to believe that is because they don't want the truth. The Bible says that the reason people don't want the truth is because their deeds are evil and they love their wicked deeds um, because they don't want to be reproved. Um, that's what the Bible says. And, you know, there's another thing. A lot of these investigators will go into a house, claim authority in Jesus Christ when they don't even believe in Jesus Christ, go into a place or or they don't believe in the Bible, go into a place and they claim that they're doing a clearing. Okay. Okay. Where do they get their faith from? Because Jesus Christ is the author of our faith. Believers, the faith that believers have, Jesus Christ is the author of our faith. Okay. Um, so, you know, where do they get their faith from? You know, um, and how come when these people have, uh, do these so-called clearings, they go in and use salt. They go in and use uh, sage. Um, where do they get it that that works? You know, just because you go into a house, okay, and they the and there's just say there's demons in the house, okay. You go in there and you do a clearing. You go and say your little ritual. Where do they get that information from? I don't even have a clue. Um, but they go in, do their ritual and everything. Just because the demons don't do anything after that for a certain amount of time does not mean the house is cleared. It just means that demon is playing possum. You know, these demons do go in dormant because they want you to believe that that worked. Do you know why? Because they don't want you to continue trying to find the, they don't want you to come across the truth. They don't want you to keep trying to figure out how to get rid of it because they want you to believe that that worked. You know, they play possum. They really do. Um, and it's sad because it's like the blind leading the blind into a ditch. And these people, you know, it is so pitiful that they come to come to these groups and everything wanting help. And instead of these groups just reaching out to a minister to get rid of the problem, they want to act like the paranormal paparazzi. And they want to go in there snapping pictures to get their evidence and be oohed and awed by the thrill of the hunt. And that's exactly what it is. You know, they want to go in. It's a thrill of the hunt. I know. I've done it. Um, and I know everybody else that I knew of that used to do the same thing, they love the thrill of the hunt. Um, and, you know, they cannot deny that that's the main reason why they go in these places. You know, it's just not, it's not a response, it's not being responsible to go into a place and act like everything's okay, giving the clients a false sense of peace when there is no peace. Um, you know, these people are under torment. They need real help. You know, um, there's some, something causing, uh, you know, these demons a right to be there in the home. Um, you know, we're not supposed to talk to the dead. The Bible tells us that. And the reason why is because God knows that if we're trying to engage and call up spirits, that it's not the dead that is going to answer us, that it's actually demons. And God does it to protect us. That's why he tells us not to do it. Um, it's just like a parent telling a child, don't go run out in the middle of the road because they know that that child might get hit by traffic. Um, same thing with God. He does things. He tells us not to do things. He has his commandments in place for a reason, not because he's trying to stop us from anything good, but he's trying to protect us from something bad. Um, you know, it's, it, that's all it is. You know, people always think, oh, you know, I don't know why, you know, the Bible says that, you know, we'll look at the case of Samuel and Saul, you know, they called up Samuel. No, they didn't. 
Samuel in the Bible, if you look at it, it says the woman perceived it was Samuel. Doesn't mean it was actually Samuel. That's who she perceived it was. He literally come out of the ground from out of the earth with other demons, false gods. That was not Samuel. You know, um, it was a familiar spirit. It even said that the woman had familiar spirits. You know, so anyway, um, this these shows and stuff is so popular nowadays and so many kids are getting into it now they're really attacking and and you know the kids um these new shows they got this one movie coming out it's actually part two but it's called para uh norman i think it's called but you know about like i said yesterday i think it was on the other video it said you know where this child supposedly has a gift of talking to the dead that's not a gift this child is it being under torment and he should not be taught now i'm talking about there's also go, uh these paranormal shows too like where you see chip coffee in them they come in and they tell the child that you know children that see spirits and stuff that they should just embrace their gift are you serious right now <laughs> embrace their gift they don't even understand these kids are being haunted you know they need to be freed um it's so sad you know but anyway um i just wanted to do a quick two part two i'm sorry um of the one i did yesterday it was the um, ghost adventures aftershocks but i wanted to touch on these two important uh issues and that was um you know why not try to really help people number one number two and rid the home of these things number two why is it that they just want to uh how is it that they are testing these spirits you know how are they testing these spirits you know how do they know that they're not demons i want to know how they really know they're not demons because i guarantee you i submit to you they cannot prove it's not demons because guess what it is so anyway god bless you guys i'll talk to you again later Bye. -bye.